बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न मैथ विथ सैयद अली वी हैव हियर टू क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रैक्टिस वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द मेजर ऑफ इंटीरियर एंड एक्सटीरियर एंगल ऑफ अ रेगुलर डेकागॉन डेकागॉन इज लाइक अ टेन साइडेड पॉलीगॉन राइट डेका इज टेन साइडेड पॉलीगॉन सो नंबर ऑफ द साइड आर टेन we this is further to what we have done in the last lecture um and the question is uh, can be uh, can be solved by a simple solution that if you want to find out the number of the sides of a polygon that can be find out by the formula 360 divided by n so this is the formula you will use to find out measure of one side find the measure of one side of exterior angle right exterior angle so in uh, we have to find out interior and exterior angle both so 36 360 divided by n is measure of one exterior angle hope you will remember this and what we did in the last video uh, how to find out the measure of one interior angle of a polygon number of the sides of a polygon s minus 2 times 180 right divided by n is or s you can say the sides number of the sides sometimes in formula we use s or sometimes we use n so Uh, it is the same thing right so 360 divided by n means i am going to divide the number of the sides right so since we use s for the in the last video so we will be using 360 divided by the number of the sides to measure the one of the exterior angle right and if we did this we will measure the measure of one interior angle of a regular polygon when we say regular uh, polygon that means it has got um, equal angles and equal length of the sides right so it's a regular polygon so he, he, here is a regular decagon that means 10 sided figure so we will say 360 divided by 10 and that will brings up at like 36 degree that is the measurement of uh, exterior angle and how to find out the interior angle so s s is number of the sides so 10 10 minus 2 right times 180 divided by number of the sides which is 10 so that will gives you measure of one interior angle of a regular polygon that will be 8 times 180 divided by 10 so if you solve this 10 0 goes with 0 18 times Uh, eight is one forty four, right? So we also learn that if we sum up these these two angles, the measure of interior angle and measure of exterior angle, that should be sum up to one eighty. And this is the check that uh, whether or not we have done a correct solution. So what is thirty six plus one forty four? So if we see thirty six plus thirty six plus one forty four. is equals to 180 right so that means our answer is correct so one more time we will revise it find the measure of the interior and exterior angle of a regular decagon decagon is 10 sided figure how to use the formula formula is 360 divided by n right n s minus 2 times 180 divided by s this way we can measure the one of the interior angle of a regular polygon regular polygon in this case our polygon is 10 sided figure so s is equals to 10 so we substitute into the formula and we get the answers and when we add one of the exterior angle plus one of the ex interior angle of a polygon 36 plus 144 that should come up to 180 degree so that is uh, that means that is correct right So now we see the second question. Second question here given is 
If sum of the interior angle of a polygon is this, 2340, calculate the number of the sides of the polygon. So we will be using the same formula uh, that we did in the last video, S minus 2 times 180, right? S minus 2 times 180 is equals to sum of the interior angles, sum of interior angles, sum of interior angles of a regular polygon, of a regular polygon. So this is what we did in the last video, right? So S minus 2, S minus 2, S is number of the sides. So here we have this sum known, right? So I will say S minus 2 times 180 is equals to 2340. It could be any number. So you can find out the number of the sides of a polygon. Uh, so what we do, we shift this 180 to the other side of the equation. So S minus 2, S we do know, right? So S minus 2 times 180. So 180 will sit in the other side of the equation, 238, 2340, right? 2340. So S minus 2 times 180. Sum is given, right? So I put the sum over there. So if I divide um, 2340 divided by 180, I will be getting 13, right? 13. So S minus 2 is equals to 13. So S is equals to 2 will go there and add up. So 13 plus 2, that is 15. So S is number of the sides of this polygon will be 15. So we will say 15 gone, right? 15 gone means 15 sided polygon, right? 15 sided polygon. So here is here it was a simple mathematics, right? Because we did that S minus 2 times 180. S minus 2 times 180 is equals to uh, sum of the interior angles of the polygon. And here in this question, we are given that sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 2340. Calculate the number of the sides of the polygon. So this is 15-sided polygon answer, right? Uh, here in this connection, we uh, could have uh, another sort of problem. So these two questions were asked um, and I can give you one more example, which is normally um, normally asked in this, in this connection. So let's see what the next type of the question. So I am solving uh, you these kind of small questions to help you guys um, in solving geometry geometry theorems or geometrical problems and you also take advantage of these um, small uh, solutions uh, when you practicing that and when you go into the higher grades you know the basic you know your foundation and then you can um, get the grade marks right good good grades so if my quadrilateral is like this and if it is shown that my four angles in terms of the variable so if it is shown in terms of the variable you can do it right so if this is 3x minus 6 this angle is x this angle is 2x minus 8 2x minus 8 and this angle is x plus 10 so if these are the four angles given but all the angles are given in terms of um, variable, right? So question can ask using the interior angles, some theorem, right? Using, what question can say? Using the interior angle sum, using the interior angle sum theorem what is the what does this theorem says that sum of all the interior angles right sum of all the interior angles of any quadrilateral is equals to 360 right of any quadrilateral is 360 because quadrilaterals are composed of two triangles so sum of um, any triangle uh, sum of interior angles of any triangle is 180 and sum of all the interior um, angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So using the interior angle sum theorem, find out 
find out all angles of this quadrilateral. So this is the question, right? We have to find out all the angles of this quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. So what you apply? Sum of all the angles, sum of all the interior angles of any quadrilateral is equals to 360. So you can add them up, right? So you will say x plus 3x minus 6 plus 2x minus 8 plus x plus 10 should be equals to 360. This is what we learned, right? And we have to memorize this. What is this theorem of interior angle? of any quadrilateral, of any triangle, of any polygon. We, we know that, right? So now we have to uh, add up all the x. So I will add them up. x plus 3x is 4x. 4 plus 2 is 6x plus 1x is 7x. And how about the number? So I have 10 minus 8 is 2 is minus 4, right? So we have minus 4 here is equals to what? 360. So 7x is equals to, we transfer this 4 to the other side. So this becomes 364. And now I have to divide both sides of the equation by 7. So x is equals to 364 divided by 7. So I can say that x is equals to what? 52 degree. Right? So now my x is uh, 52 degree. Once I know my x, I can calculate um, my other angles. So what my other angles are, right? So x plus 10 means, plus 10 means 62 degree, right? The next angle, 3x minus 6. What does 3x minus 6 means, right? 3 times 52 minus 6. So 3 times 52 is 156 minus 6, 156 minus 6 is 150, and then 2x minus 8, 2x, sorry, 2x minus 8, so 2x means 52 times 2, 52 times 2, which is 104, minus 8 is 96 degree. So these are all my angles, right, 52, 62, 150 and 96. These are all of my angles, right? If I add them up, 96 plus 150 plus 62 plus 52, it is 360. So if I add all them up, it comes out as 360. So my answer is right. Because we know that sum of all the interior angles of any quadrilateral is 360, right? So we find out X and then we find out all the relevant angles in terms of X. So one of the angle is 52, other angle is uh, 62, 150 and 96. If we add all these angles, it becomes 360, which is the rule or which is the theorem. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Um, and send me your questions at my email address s underscore shahid minus underscore ali s underscore shahid underscore ali at hotmail.com. Thank you for watching.